The Zephyr for Jira developers have created a CI/CD postscript that will allow you to integrate test results from supported test automation frameworks into virtually any CI/CD pipeline. This includes Jenkins, Bamboo, and Bitbucket. To provide an overview of the usage of this postscript, it's really focused on importing automation test results into Zephyr for Jira after you run a pipeline job. The supported frameworks include Cucumber, Selenium, SOAP UI, any report that is a TestNG or JUnit format, UFT, Tricentis Tosca, and Eggplant. Zephyr for Jira test cycles will have updated test executions after the pipeline job is executed. And this will happen in one seamless motion without you having to manually upload these results. All you need to do is modify the Postscript so that you can authenticate into your Jira instance with your user account, make sure you indicate the proper Jira project and Zephyr test cycles, and which automation framework you are importing from. The JWT authentication, which is the first step of the workflow, generates a JWT token for the other REST API calls in the workflow, and it follows the standard JWT token format. It's required for the header and further API calls, so you cannot skip this step, and it's a part of the Postscript. And the prerequisite components include the Zephyr access key and secret key, which can be found in the project menu under Zephyr, under API keys. The account ID, which is found at this specified URL, and the Zephyr base URL, which is the same for everyone since you're on Jira Cloud, and so you can just use the one listed here. To get the Zephyr access and secret key, go to your Jira instance and under apps, select Zephyr. Looking at the Zephyr menu, under integrations, you'll see API keys. And this is where you'll find both the access key and secret key that you will use to generate your JWT token. The next component you need is your account ID, which is found at this URL using your Jira instance name. Once you navigate to this page, you'll see a JSON response with the second element being the account ID, which will, you will use for your JWT authentication and your API calls. You can save this information since it doesn't change and is tied to your account. Now that you have all the different components, you can put them into the Postscript in this top section here. And if you scroll down the script, you can see different fields for the different aspects of the automation job and your Jira project that you should indicate, like job name, cycle name, folder name, etc. Once you do all of this, we'll be able to go into a CI/CD framework. In this example, we'll use Jenkins and we can have this script executed as a part of the post build task after a test execution occurs or any pipeline task really. So let's go into the configuration so that we can have a look here. You can see the build here where we're running a Python test. And after that, using the post build task plugin, we also execute the CI/CD post script. Now our CI/CD pipeline is successfully integrated with Zephyr for Jira, where we're going to take test automation results and feed them directly into our test cycles. Thank you for watching. And if you want more information on the Postscript and how to integrate with CI/CD and test automation, please refer to our documentation.